All right, the good news is that vaccines are coming out fast and furiously. The FDA panel uh, on the verge of uh, officially, uh, you know, approving uh, Johnson & Johnson's uh, one-shot dose uh, that uh, will obviously expand the pool of available treatments that are out there. The problem is getting your hands on them, and they have these mega sites set up all over the country, including one in East Rutherford, New Jersey, that could ostensibly handle that traffic, but it is still an uphill battle. Uh, Bob Garrett joins us right now, the Hackensack Meridian Health CEO. Bob, good to have you. Um, these facilities are very large. Um, they, 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 they aim to be very efficient, but invariably crowds form, and they don't know the procedure or who gets what and when and how appointments are honored. How is that being handled? So, Neil, uh, first of all, thanks for having me back on your show. It's always a pleasure to see you. Um, I, you know, I Same think here. we have to kind of level set and put it in perspective. Uh, if you think about it, uh, just six months, nine months ago, who would have thought that 70 million Americans would have already had a, uh, a vaccine? They were talking about developing a vaccine that would take years. Distribution would, would probably take another year after the vaccines were developed. So. We have to put it in a little bit of perspective. I, I do really understand people's frustrations. We are really literally working around the clock to try to deliver uh, vaccines. The mega sites are, are ramping up still. Uh, we started a couple of weeks ago uh, doing about 1,500 uh, uh, vaccines a day there. Uh, next week, we're going to be up to 4,000 a day. We are getting more and more supply in as the weeks go on. It's been a little bit slow, but I think it is um, improving by the day. And as you mentioned, with, uh, with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine uh, hopefully being uh, approved over the next couple of days, we're actually expecting the first shipments to come as early as uh, next week to, uh, to places like New Jersey. You know, on the, the, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, the fact that it's a one-dose vaccine apparently proven to be quite effective, um, how is it sorted out? Who gets what vaccine? Yeah, so uh, what, what each state has a, a separate distribution uh, plan. Um, in, uh, in New Jersey, those sites that I invested in the ultra-cold freezers uh, are delivering the right. Pfizer vaccine. Other, uh, other sites that don't have that ultra-cold storage have been delivering Moderna. Johnson & Johnson only needs uh, refrigeration, so it's going to be a much easier distribution uh, plan. So I can speak for Hackensack Meridian, and what we're planning to do is, uh, if we if we do get the Pfizer, um, yeah, Johnson and Johnson vaccine next week, we're going to uh, be uh, delivering that vaccine in places like our emergency department because it is a one dose vaccine, so it's easier to administer to those patients. They don't have to come back. We're going to try to um, even administer to those patients who are eligible, who are being discharged from the from the hospitals themselves. We're going to try to get them out to, uh, to people's homes through our home care program and also to some of the underserved communities through some of our clinics and some of our uh, primary care physician offices. So the J&J &J product will be much more portable, if you will, and, and much more deliverable because it doesn't have to be stored in those, uh, those ultra-cold uh, temperatures. All right, um, Bob uh, Garrett, uh, Hackensack Meridian Health CEO, again, to his point, um, there's no shortage of possible vaccines and treatments out there. The problem is that proverbial final mile. They're trying to address it in some of these large distribution centers. Uh, you see similar ones popping up all around the country, with, with the hope being that all of those vaccines get in a lot more arms and a lot faster. All right, uh, stay with us on that front of the meantime. Uh, we're learning right now.